Going to be. Thank you. And Renovating your house can be super expensive, but also overwhelming for a lot of people. Instead of trying to tackle all of your house, why don't you start with just one room at a time? Today I'm doing a master bedroom makeover. I've got eight hours, here we go. So this bedroom definitely feels like it's stuck in a time warp. You've got apricot walls, sage green walls, wallpaper frieze, which is very dated. We've got mismatched furniture. We've got pieces that aren't even real furniture. The ceiling is a mess, gloss surfaces, matte surfaces, it's all over the shop. I've got eight hours to transform this room. Gonna get my team in, we're gonna get cracking. Oh, that's cool. Okay, Hayden, so I'm wanting to take the old ceiling fan down simply because there was a split system aircon on the wall and the room already has ducted air, so it seems crazy to have three heating devices. Simplify. We're going to put a beautiful big drum light here instead. Make this room look. Turn on a vacuum cleaner. The thing about vacuum trees, you need power for them and you don't have power. I plugged it. Oh, is that why it's not working? There you go. Right away. I'm allergic to brooms. Okay. Vacuums. <laughs> So the demo is all complete in the room now. It took my team about 20 minutes. I can see the proportions of the room now. They're actually really good, about four meters wide by almost four meters that way. The biggest change in this room is taking down those blinds. There's so much natural light here. Normally when you're renovating a room, you've got to rip everything out, see what you're working with, and then you start again. First things first, floor's got to go down. I love painted liquid gold, value adding for renovators. No? <laughs> We're installing these floating floorboards, so much cleaner and just healthier than carpet. Little tip though is if you are going to be installing floating floorboards DIY, leave at least a 10mm expansion gap around all of the edges. If you don't do that, your boards can't shrink and expand and it means your boards will buckle. Now all of the walls in this room are a bit plain Jane, so I want to create a bed head feature wall. I've decided that this is the wall, but how did I come to that decision? Well normally when you're trying to work out which walls have your bed, it's a process of elimination. You automatically knock out the walls that have windows or doors on them. That leaves this wall and this one over here. Now if I did stick the bed on this wall here, it's a bit weird walking through your doorway, you'd bump into the bed. So that's how I came to that decision, remember? Process of elimination. So in renovating, you can renovate slow or fast. Slow way to renovate, fast way to renovate. Power tools are so affordable these days, why would you do it the old fashioned way? I'm bringing sexy back. <laughs> How do you reckon? You're so nice. So this is new decorative wall panelling from Easy Craft. It's actually the Channel 25. I love it. It's very nice, isn't it? It's different. Yeah, it's very architectural, adds a lot of visual interest, just got a lot of depth and texture, so it just takes a plain wall, makes it look extraordinary. You're gonna have fun painting it. I know, that's a job and a half.
can be really expensive, but they don't always need to be. I've just picked these up from Ikea under a hundred bucks. So we're going to put two, a whole packet on one end on both sides just okay. to make them look a bit more fuller. To bunch them up a bit. Bunch them up. Four. It's dry. Just. Oh, it is now. Part of making over your bedroom is your furniture and all your styling accessories. Now I've deliberately bought this bed from Fantastic Furniture as part of their new bridge range and I love this bed because it's up off the floor. A bed that's elevated up off the floor makes your room look more spacious. Holly, you ready to hang this picture? <laughs> I thought I'm off. I'm oh, gone. No. Eight hours up four minutes ago. I'm over time. No. no. You said eight hours. Just one more thing, please. And it could you. Big bed. Well, it's time for the final reveal. My team and I have finished this room in just one day. Now the reality is, will you have all of the tradies that I had here today? Of course not. The good news is, is that you can do this sort of room transformation over the course of a couple of weekends. Now if you're willing to roll up your sleeves and do a bit of the work DIY, you can save yourself a lot of money on the trade labour. Now I know you're going to be saying, Cherie, where did you get your inspiration from this room? Well, believe it or not, from one item, the quilt. I saw this quilt in store, I love the colour. So I crafted this whole entire room around that one item. If you look at the sheets, the sheets are now the same colour as the wall. The feature wall here is a couple of shades lighter than the actual quilt. The oak furniture from Fantastic Furniture perfectly matches this rust coloured quilt. Even the light matches the room, the colour of the walls. So once you know these basic interior design principles, very easy to pull cohesive rooms together. Well, I must say my job now is done. I'm feeling pretty knackered. I will see you on the next episode of Renovate My Room.